Hello, it's Matt. Welcome to Collaboration Coach. In this video, I'm going to show you how to insert slides and documents into your whiteboard canvas. Okay, so first question is why would you want to insert a Word document or a slide into your whiteboard canvas? What problem is this trying to solve? This is useful if you are developing documents and slides in a group. So whether it's on a Teams meeting or actually physically in a room together, and you need to be able to whiteboard the development of the documents or slides. It's also useful if you're sent slides or documents from outside of your team or group, and you wanna review them in a group setting. So let's see how it works. From the whiteboard, if I hit the plus button, that's kind of the insert button, insert something from outside of whiteboard. And you see you've got Word document and PowerPoint document here. Let's go for PowerPoint first. I hit PowerPoint, first thing it asks you is to pick up the PowerPoint slide. It doesn't direct you to the cloud to do this, it actually directs you to your computer. So in this case, I'm using the Windows 10 version of Whiteboard, and it's sent me to the, the C drive of my Windows 10 computer. Now, I've got some folders that have been synced from Office 365. I've got OneDrive, and I've got another Collaboration Coach SharePoint site. But if you haven't done that syncing, then you're probably gonna to have to download it onto your computer from SharePoint. All right, so I've got this folder called Whiteboard. I'm gonna hit this Workshop Agenda PowerPoint slide, hit Open. What it does is throws up the slides on the right-hand side here, and I can choose an individual slide or I can insert all the slides. And in this deck, I've only got one slide. So I'm gonna choose this, hit Insert. Now you can see it's something that I can move around. I can change its orientation and, and resize it and so on. So just like I could with a normal whiteboard image, I can copy, delete it. So I can manage it just like I would uh, a normal image. Immediately, I can start to annotate. So if I wanna highlight parts of this or cross out bits, I can do that with the pen tools. But I can also, if I select it again, use this, this tool called the Ink Grab which will actually turn my slide image into ink. So you can see it's slightly changed the way it, it looks and feels, uh, but what it means is that I can now manipulate it as if it was ink. I can choose the eraser, for example, and actually erase parts of that image. It also means I can lasso bits, select them as individual parts, and then move them around. So I can start to manipulate the slides and perhaps if I was putting some more slides together and I wanted to move bits and pieces or bullets across into the other slides, I could do that. All right, so, so far so good. Now let's take a look at the Word document. It works in exactly the same way. I hit the plus button to add it, I hit Word. It prompts me to find my document. I've got this annual report here. I'm gonna click open. Again, it throws it up on the right hand side. It shows me all the pages within the document and I get to choose which ones I add, either all of them or some of them. In this case, I'm just gonna hit this one, go insert selected and here it is. I can, again, manipulate it just like I could with the slide. And I can move it around, I can resize it and I can zoom in and out of the page. And again, I can Use the pen tools to draw on it, highlight things that I want to change or call out. And I can also turn the Word document page into ink with the ink grab. So now the ink grab has turned it into ink and I can delete parts with the eraser. I can select parts and move them around as individual components. So if I wanted to put another Word document page together, I could do that with the individual parts. So that's the new tool for Whiteboard that allows you to add PowerPoint slides, Word documents, and also PDFs in exactly the same way. So I hope that helps and thank you for watching.